it also does the light dance for you. Annyeong everyone, thank you for watching this video. Today I'm here in Jili Aseana. Today we have the Ascara. It's a mild hybrid four-wheel drive crossover. That didn't make it to the Evida law. For now, Ascara doesn't get exempted from the coding system. And this one is the only variant, which is the luxury variant. This costs 1,808,000 pesos. Let's see in this video if the Ascara can still give us the wow factor in 2023. In our channel, we say, Shija. This is how the key fob looks like. It looks like a car. It is an intelligent key that you can remotely start your car, put all the windows down, and also open the power tailgate. So when you close it, it blinks like that. And when you open it, it blinks like that. And it also does the light dance for you. Knowing that this is a five-seater, a small SUV, that is four-wheel drive, Please do let me know in the comment section below which cars are direct competitor to this Ascara. The front is well accentuated by its foggy or handsome headlight design. All are in LEDs and the turn signals are in LEDs as well. But when you go to the back, the turn signals are actually sequential. I was hoping that this would be sequential as well, just like the Okavango, but this one still looks great in its own. What I like about the front is the nice looking grille. There are front sensors and there are real air vents or side curtains here in the front bumper. And when you look here, the expanding Galaxy grille, if I remember it right, with a front camera. And this logo actually looks like a radar that you would see in premium cars, but this one doesn't have a front radar. A few cars came to my mind and that are all-wheel drive. The XV and the Forester. Now, when we go to XV, the XV would, would cost you about um, 1.9 million and you get a bit more discount. That is also symmetrical all-wheel drive. It comes with eyesight technology, while this one doesn't. Ascara being a four-wheel drive system has only 163 millimeters of ground clearance, while competitors have above 200 millimeters. If you are an owner of an Ascara, please do let us know if the 163 millimeters of ground clearance is actually livable here in the city or in the rural area. Here in the front, we do have 18 inch rims and ventilated disc braking system and McPherson struts with coil springs. And at the back, it's a multi-link. Now here in the side, what I noticed is that we do have keyless entry sensors on both the driver and the passenger side. And that is very important for me. 18 inch rims with solid disc braking system does come with black claddings. The Ascara looks luxurious and also macho at the same time. The rear of the Ascara looks bold and clean and neat, especially this brushed aluminum style of finishing is what I like very much. LED tail lamp system and the twin exhaust pipes are real. Reverse lamp, rear sensor, and our favorite is not the spoiler, the shark fin antenna, but it's the, it's the power tailgate. And you can easily access your trunk with your remote or the button right here. They also supply you with a tonneau, a spare wheel that is for emergency or donut type, jack and tools, and also this uh, aluminum finishing for the trunk. It reminds me of a Mercedes-Benz. So there are bits of luxury that you would normally see in German or European cars. The moment you open the door of the Ascara, you feel that the door is solid. When you close the door, it also feels really solid. If you are paying about 1.8 million, you want your cars to feel that way. And the next one is the interior color, this brown leather that you wouldn't expect from this price point. Because if you are going for that price in mainstream brands, you will see a lot of bare materials. But this one, just exciting. There's chrome, there's black, there's brown. 
there's aluminum and also wood like finishing. So that is a wow factor why people want to get an Ascara. The seat of the Ascara is powered. The Ascara seats feel sporty and it's not on the softest side, but it will have good grip because of the bolstering. The steering wheel has flat bottom, it has leather. The quality is fantastic. And all this overall dashboard design just makes the car look and feel expensive. And the buttons are also well sounding. Waterfall design of the center area is also quite exciting. And you can hold on to this and they do feel real metal and also heavy duty. Yep. I was expecting to hear some squeaking, but you don't. And when we open the glove box, it goes down really slow and the lights are there. Although in halogen, but still good to have lights in the glove box. Auto dimming room mirror, I love it very much. Sunglass case, I love it. And LED lights provided here in the vanity mirror. That's auto brake hold. And the 4x4 system is the intelligent one that the computer decides whether to go 4x4 or 4x2, depending on the road condition, just like in a Mazda. Digital instrument gauge and digital infotainment system. Now I'm gonna show you in a POV mode so you don't get bored. Let's go. You can definitely feel that it is not just a bare car. It is somewhat an exciting car. It was very, very, very exciting when it first came out, of course, because Geely gave a lot of features that you would never expect in this price point, especially when it started with the Cool Ray. I also like this area here. It looks so clean and look how well the door handle is hidden. That is good detail and all this leather and this G looking window logo. G as in Gilly. It may not have the full-blown adaptive cruise control, but it does have full airbag. Airbags are everywhere in this car, even in that area. So it is definitely a safe car. And then what's also nice here is this one. 360. Now, when this one first came out, oh, it was so great. The quality was so amazing. And right now, when I do the right turn signal, it also blinks on the animation itself. So when it really first came out, and look how smooth it is. And you can look up using this drive mode dial. Let's try sport mode, off-road mode. So this is the smart mode. So let's say you have a terrain after typhoon or something, it's muddy. You might want to turn that on. It's a bit dark, I know, but let's see if the charge pad works. Fast wireless charging. It also lights up like that. The cup holders are hidden. The armrest area, the center console has cool box effect also here. So you can actually store some drinks there and keep it cool really well done and everything is assembled very well you can also put something here like that and because people get irritated with this uh, gloss area people will put stickers on them i wonder what would have been here now this electronic gear shifter uh, feels very quirky and it's very neat and unorthodox so Maybe that is one bogey points that you would find in an Ascara. The second row, also ambient lights, Twitter speaker, speaker, and you do have something here just in case maybe something drops from your pocket or something like that. You can easily drop it down on a 60-40 fashion. The seats really feel solid and heavy airbag and also this one like you can find it in European cars but you have it here in your Gilly. Armrest with cup holders with high gloss looks like it looks as if it has more features to it so that's always a good thing. More leg support here, charge ports, air vents, nets behind, LED reading lights. The center tunnel is on the very low side almost none. And this is the dashboard you will see from the second row. 
This is the engine bay of the Ascara Luxury and as you can see, it does have hydraulic struts, easy and it does about 190 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque made it to 7 speed wet type of dual clutch transmission Ooh, it almost looks too clean very clean all right guys we have the permission to start the car for a very few seconds let's see oh. when your uh, screen turns off after 15 kilometers i find that too quick to turn off like if it goes like 25 i think that's okay leave it on forever even though it goes higher than 100. i don't know if you guys can see the ambient light but it's on you see that it's on i wish i have a longer time with this so if Gili executive from sojits are watching please do let me test it out and with that i'll see you in the next video may your dreams come true